Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte, I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a vBulletin data breach and zero-day vulnerability. If you haven't heard of vBulletin, it's a popular package to create web-based forums, and it's used by many websites out there. Anyways, early this week, news leaked that over 400,000 vBulletin forum users had had their users and passwords leaked to the underground. vBulletin asks all users to reset their passwords. Shortly after this, on Monday night, vBulletin actually released a patch for their popular forum software. Now throughout the week the story continued to evolve. We learned an actor on the underground using the alias Cold Zero was the one that actually claims to have pulled off this breach and he said he did so using a previously unknown vulnerability in the vBulletin software, presumably a SQL injection flaw that allowed him to actually execute code on the web server itself. In fact he released his exploit on another well-known exploit database site. Now once he released this code Another researcher who appears to have been sitting on this vulnerability also released details about this remote code execution flaw in vBulletin. So long story short, apparently there's been a zero-day flaw in vBulletin that people have known about for three years. This flaw was definitely used to actually hijack the password and user database from the vBulletin site itself. So the takeaways here are, first of all, if you go to the vBulletin forums, the official forums, you definitely need to reset your password. More importantly, if you use the vBulletin software, you definitely need to apply the patch from Monday to presumably fix this previously unknown vulnerability. On top of that, it seems like threat actors may have been exploiting this in the wild for a while now. So you definitely want to analyze your logs and use any other forensic capabilities you have to make sure that you haven't been breached as well. And in the case, an interesting story, if you're a vBulletin user, you definitely need to update. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.